Okay, welcome back to part three of our installation, configuration, and how to use Vaicom Pro with Voice Attack. That was the fun bit, so we're sitting in the cockpit. Um, now, quality of the video for in flight, I haven't really done anything special, and it's actually not really important for the basis of what we're doing. So I'm in VR. Um, I've popped up the Voice Attack UI as well as the Faircom UI. You can see that Voice Attack is showing that the plugin is configured, and you can see that Faircom is saying that no module detected. Now we are sitting in a module, but because I haven't hit the fly button, uh, it doesn't know what aircraft I'm sitting in yet until the aircraft is actually live in the game. So I'll hit fly now. And we are in. So as you can see, we have uh, F-18C Hornet. Uh, easy comms is off. And you can see the radios have now changed to reflect the radios in the aircraft. And you can see a bit of information in the voice attack uh, UI saying uh, what the mission is we're in, which is an instant action mission. You play a call sign and nearest ATC is Nellis. So that's telling me that I'm connected. So once I can see that we're connected, I should be able to start using commands. Now, uh, with these comms off, it means I have to select the channels uh, myself and talk to the different uh, recipients, which is a number of different recipients. Uh, there is uh, ATC is one recipient. In this case, it'll be Nellis Control. Uh, you've got Tankers, it's another recipient. Our uh, wingman there is another recipient. We can either have flight or actual individual flight members, except we can look at us. Uh, and JTAC is another recipient. So we've got numerous different elements that we can talk to um, called recipients. And then we also have commands. Uh, so one of the commands we spoke about was the select command, which was one of the options we configured in the UI. And if I want to use that, at the moment you can see COM1, I got 305, uh, which is the uh, flight uh, frequency that our wingman's using. And also on COM2, I've got 305 channel 1. So I could select uh, Nellis Tower on COM2 and dial it in because I know it's three, uh, 327. There we go. And I can talk to Nellis Tower there. But the select function, if I went back to COM1 there on 305 and key TX2 and say it's a two part command and you'll hear different tones, a low tone, which indicates that it's registered the first part of the command, and then you'll hear the high tone, which means the command's been registered. So if I say, select Nellis Control, and you can see it's com 2s now got a manual, and 327 has been automatically dialed in for Nellis Control. Uh, so let's ask for a taxi clearance from them. West taxi to runway. Okay, so this is the basis. So because I just had the right frequency chosen in by using the select function, select tunes radio, uh, all I have to do is give the command. Now to do it in a complete format, I could say Nellis Control wait for the low tone that it's got the recipient waiting for the rest of the message and then say request taxi to runway so there's multiple ways you can do it uh, other options is our uh, ground if I want to talk to them I can key the interphone on TX5 and just say ground move the ground power Okay, so two low tones means that it didn't get the command. That's because I used the wrong command. So remove the ground power is not the command. It's 
ground power off is the command. So if I try it again, ground, ground power off, and I get the high, high tone. And ground power is now off. So that's the basis of using recipients. So we'll taxi out and uh, get airborne. So COM2 is still tuned manually using the instant select. Um, so I can talk to air traffic control. Now, DCS being DCS, you would obviously request a clearance to take off before I cross the holding point, but it doesn't seem to work very well, so we'll taxi down here a little bit further. Ready for departure. So the command was registered, the high tone. trying to kill us. Away we go. Gear up. Okay, so two's rejoining, and we should see him coming in. There he is back there. And now we can talk to him if we want. So I might get him to go echelon left. So I'll key TX1, COM1, which I know is the flight frequency. Two, go echelon left. And there he goes, and we'll go two. So the key is the low tone, which is a recipient being registered, and then the high tone, the command being registered. So that's how we use Faircom Pro. Uh, pretty simple. Um, you need to know the, the uh, recipient names, you need to know the command. Once you know them and practice them, do your speech training with uh, Windows speech recognition and it's pretty immersive no menus just a whole bunch of talking so there we are that's how you use Viacom enjoy it um, I hope you enjoyed this three-part series and I hope it helps you get up and running with Viacom Pro and Voice Attack